Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Today, let's talk about boxing. The sport of boxing. Beautiful sport, I've been heard. Well, I don't really know much about the sport, so we won't be talking about it. Let's talk about a particular boxer, Sadaf Kadem. I'm not exactly sure if I'm pronouncing this right. She's an Iranian lady, and she's about to be the, one of the first Iranians to compete in a major boxing tournament coming up very soon. She used to be a fitness trainer back in Tehran, and uh, the background images, that's her. That's training. That's training very hard. And uh, she recently got her boxing license. She's going to be boxing. <laughs> C'est historique, je le dis souvent, dans 100 ans, on dirait qu'un Royan, euh, Sadaf Radem, euh, a effectué le premier combat officiel de boxe pour une Iranienne. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Voilà, c'est une première, voilà. c'est aussi simple que ça. دوست دارم این مسابقه هم یه شروعی باشه واسه اینکه به جای بهتر تو بکسم برسم تجربه بیشتر کسب کنم و بتونم یه بکسور خیلی خوب بشم و به مرد و زن فرق نمی کنه بگم اون چیزی که تو ذهنت میگذره اگه با قلبت باورش کنی میتونی بهش برسی Exactly inspirational story right pretty inspirational I, I feel all kinds of inspired I feel inspired to go to the gym and punch something well I feel sort of inspired to go to the gym and punch something it's the rest of the story once you hear that you would really feel the rage now if she was representing your country if she was representing your country in an international tournament wouldn't you be proud of her I would be proud of her unfortunately for her though her countrymen includes ideology or mentality or a culture that can best be summarized as <laughs> That's about as well as I would have explained. Now, some of you might be wondering, whoa, if when she backs, goes back home, she would be showered with prizes and she would be a celebrity back home. Well, in some ways, yes, but she would be a celebrity in prison. She doesn't want to go back home. Boxer Sadaf Kadem cancels return to Iran after arrest warrant is issued. Yes, an arrest warrant is issued by her regressive, retarded country. This lady, representing the nation that most likely does not deserve to be represented by her, has an arrest warrant issued against her. Now some of you might be wondering, whoa, what crime has this lady committed? Well, here's her crime. Kadam and her trainer, Mahyar Monshipur, are in Politie and has been expected to return to Tehran after the win over Anne Chauvin. The 24-year-old who works as a fitness trainer in Tehran had defied her country's rule that female athletes should dress in line with Islamic laws. Kadem was bareheaded and wore shorts for the bout in Royan. That's why there's an arrest warrant issued against her because she didn't uh, cover her hair and she was wearing shorts. Some of you might think it's a little retarded. And uh, you might be right, but you know what? Let's listen to the experts. Let's see them justify this uh, rather interesting ruling. about as, uh, as good a justification as I could come up with. Now some of y'all might be a little confused and a little worried. But the fact is, this is the norm. Women in Tehran, women in Iran, are being sent to prison 
and being subject to public lashes for taking off their headscarf, for not putting on the mandatory hijab laws. I, I wonder if there is a political activist group in the West that has a ton of funds with regards to lobbying and is constantly bitching and harping and is a very well-funded female something organization that talks about women's rights. It would be really nice if we had one such group in the West who would maybe help these women out a little bit, maybe spread a little awareness. If we only had a group in the West that advocated for women's rights and would give these women a little bit of media attention. If we only had one such group in the West, I'm pretty sure the women in Tehran would have really benefited. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. I'll talk to you guys later.